Hey guys, um, welcome back to Sunday today. Um, it's probably about midday, it's about one-ish. We've just nipped out actually to take some pics. We went for a nice coffee at Pret. I just went round the corner, took some pictures. We have some of the Pret cauliflower towel again. I'm gonna dig into this now. And tomorrow, we go to the Maldives, don't we? Yeah. To take all together. Uh, well, we've got a big four hour layover in Dubai, unfortunately. So it's a little longer, but we will get to the Maldives by about 9am on Tuesday morning. Mm -hmm. Or 9am Maldives time, anyway. I cannot wait. Alex is already packed, haven't you? Pretty much, yeah. You're ahead of the game. I'm not actually taking that much stuff with me. Oh, I, I always overpack for. I know, because we've got a lot of stuff to shoot with you, but. I'm just excited to take different bikinis and take different pictures, different outfits. Got yeah. loads of great stuff. For, just like for a guy, all you need is like a vest and shorts. some swimming shorts. That's it. Because I always mm. I overpack every time I go and take one pair of sandals, like flip flops, and a shirt for night time. Yeah, nice shirt and trousers. The thing is, though, with this one, there's a big. It's got that oh. big walkway. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> there's a big walkway. It's called Sneva Jani, and there's a big walkway over this i've never seen anything like it actually it's more walkway than it is island this place mm. so i think you will need flip-flops more than you think do you think mm. yeah because it gets boiling hot on that i'll take a pair of vans with me on the wood loads of bikini i've got like six bikinis loads of gorgeous like beachwear to shoot pack the drone we'll be taking the drone gopro get some awesome oh my god the villa as well it has a slide in fact by the time you see this it'll all be on my instagram so if you don't already follow me on my Instagram, I would love it if you went over there. I'm, I, I just really enjoy Instagram and the content I put on there. I'm extremely fussy about what I put on my Instagram, so I feel like it's like the cream of my content. So if you don't already follow me there, it'd be awesome to have you I'll over there. I'll insert a link right here. <laughs> oh, we finished a new show last night. Manhunt Unabomber on Netflix. Brilliant. If I would sort of looked at that, I'd have been like, yeah, that's okay. But oh, it's so brilliant, guys! You need to watch it. Yeah, it's better than Mine Hunter, I think. Yeah, but I think that's because it's like a proper true story. That's a true story, Mine Hunter. Is it not just based on a true story? Well, this is based on a true story as well. Well, yeah, but it's so right to it though. Like the people of cast for it look like almost identical. Yeah, they do. To be fair, it's. It's an eye It's very, people. very well. And the acting is not incredible. Yeah, Paul Bettany's in it, and the guy who plays. The um, the main guy in Avatar. He's really good. Yeah, really good. The Australian guy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's really good in it. Mm. Yeah, so it's a really good cast. Um, ah, we were just gripped, weren't we, by the end of it? We were like, let's watch another one. Totally gripping. But then um, you have that lonely feeling when you finish a series. Yeah. And you've got nothing to do. So I said to Alex that we need to watch Sons of Anarchy again. Which I'm actually coming around to now. <laughs> but the problem was, like, I've been saying no for so long because we've practically finished it and you were like, put it on again! <laughs> it's like, no! Mm. So, I've just finished The Office, <laughs> US. Oh, yeah. That left a big hole in me now. Oh, so. God. I'm so glad. I actually really want to restart it again. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. <laughs> exactly my point! I'm so sick of hearing that intro. Six seasons worth of that intro. Isn't it like 25 episodes per season? Pretty sure it's nine seasons. Oh, my God. So. I thought I could maybe just quickly show you how I like to edit my Instagram pictures. Every different blogger or Instagrammer that you speak to will have different varying ways that they like to do theirs. Um, some people like to edit on their phone, quite often I do to be honest. So I have a few different ways. I mean Alex is going to love that I'm about to say this but I think, I do think one of the best ways to do it these days is Lightroom. Yes. It took me a while to get used to using it because I love Photoshop. I'm, I'm a bit of a whiz at Photoshop because I learned that back when I was younger. Say if you've done like a big shoot and you've got 200 pictures, Lightroom, some people would say Capture One as well is great for this but uh, we personally prefer Lightroom. Um, you can just get all your pictures out one by one and you can just flick through them, you can colour code them. So for example, if you want to, say out of 200 pictures, you want to choose like 20, you can go through, I often press 7, which stands for yellow, and it'll put them into a yellow code, and then later on you can just press yellow, and it just brings up like those 20 pictures that you filtered, and then you can start going through and adding your filters, and your presets, and all that. I would highly recommend shooting in RAW at all times. You can shoot in RAW and JPEG. It's say for example, 
if you know that you've got the perfect lighting and you're not going to do much editing afterwards and it's really quick you turn around between needing to get a picture right onto your Instagram then I'd probably shoot in JPEG but otherwise shoot in RAW and Lightroom handles RAW images super well and again you can just go through and choose which ones you like and which you don't. In RAW you can do a lot more to a picture than you could ever do in JPEG because it saves all of the settings like your entire environment is almost saved in the file which is why the file size i mean the file size of each of these is about 40 meg a jpeg is often about 3 meg so you can imagine how much more data is in that picture especially if you're shooting at night the raw picture you can really pull up the shadows you can brighten it and you can add color back in you know you can you can just do so much more to your picture than you would ever be able to do with a jpeg so again it took me a while to be converted to this but believe me, it's, it will just change your life to start shooting in RAW and then using things like Lightroom to look at your images. This was a post I did yesterday. I'm going... All I'm going to do is just go to my pics. So these are all my pics here. I'm just going to drag them in to Lightroom. Now we took loads because we were just trying to get the lighting right. I couldn't work out how I wanted to... Um, show off the dress properly, make it look nice. Oh, these are Alex's pictures here too. Check all. I'm just gonna, just for the ease of it, I'm just gonna import them. So, right, so it's just gonna start importing all these pics into here. All I'm gonna start doing is, when I find one that I really like, where the dress looks good, where the, you can see the boots, where the sun isn't too strong, where there's a nice depth of feel, I mean, it's everything that you think about with this picture. Um, I'm then gonna press, on any you like, I'm gonna press seven just because that's what I like, and it sets the label to yellow. I mean, there are a couple of others, I think, like, six, seven, eight, nine. They're all different colour palettes. I just like seven. It just makes it yellow. So I'm just going to go through, and it's super quick. I'm just going to click, click, click. I can tell straight away if I like these or not. You know, it's a lot quicker than if you're doing it from a folder. If you can see my little cursor, I'm going to go press that. So I'm back onto the whole page up here. Up here to where it says Attribute. Then it opens up this tab, I'm going to press yellow, and here I have my chosen, how many is this? 38 pictures. So now I just need to go through again, and all I have to do is on the ones that I don't like as much, press 7 and it'll take it out of this category, and then I can kind of like, file it down from there. So, I think this is the picture I like the most. It's got the kind of vibe I want to go for, it's got the dress, it's got the boots, it's got our lovely colours behind it. So then all you do is go into this develop tab, top right up here, and this will open up all of these different things. Now it might look a little bit daunting at first, but honestly it couldn't be easier. Things like temperature of the, the picture, the exposure, and again like I said, if, this is, if you've got a raw picture you can play with all these amazingly well. So, right, let's let me kind of show you, kind of vibe. So what I do is probably pick up the exposure a little bit, pick up the shadows a tad, down the highlights a little bit. This is something that's great to do, lens correction section. Depending on what lens you've taken this on, um, just like, like see what happens to this picture when I do this. It, it's almost like the lens has vignetted this section. Can you see how much brighter that goes? like to do that. Things like detail, you can sharpen this up, make it a little more sharp. This is my favourite one. This one here, this um, HSL colour black and white. And I like to press all and open up these. And then you can play around the hue of each colour style, the saturation of each colour and also the luminance of each colour. This is where I'm up to. In terms of the sky, I managed to pull it back. So this is what it was like before we overexposed it. So that just took a little bit of playing around. This little brush tool here, this is a little brush. It gives you a brush and I've brushed over the sky and pulled the exposure down and pulled up the shadows. Oh yeah, pulled down the highlights and it meant that I could then start playing around with, so for example if I really pull the exposure down on this now, like look, this is what you can see, this is kind of what it's covering, so I've pulled out the shadows so you can actually see what was going on in the sky at this moment. Um, yeah, so it just takes a little bit of playing around with, because I obviously don't want it to look ridiculous. So, here you can see, this was the before, and this is the after. Like, that's how much you can pull the colours back. I pulled the sky back, um, brightened everything up a bit, elevated the image a little bit, but 
Still the same image, just worked around with the colours and made everything a bit more, a bit prettier. Just put this onto my Instagram. Hello! <laughs> So many different Instagrammers or bloggers will do it different ways. I mean, that is just one way. If you like to edit on your phone, I'd probably recommend VSCO, Snapseed, Facetune, Photoshop Express. Yeah, they're my favourites. You should do slightly different things and just play around with them. So to be honest, these days, the Instagram app itself has some pretty good filters. So, yeah, I mean, I love just editing pictures. I find it really therapeutic. Like, I find it almost like meditation. I can literally zone out. I can I can play around so quickly with different apps. So I really enjoy it. So hopefully that was quite helpful. I don't know if I actually taught you anything there apart from what I kind of do. But, um, yeah, hopefully it was helpful, guys. Let me know. I know that I didn't really go into massive amounts of depth. But I think that if you want that, there are so many other people who can show you that better online. On YouTube, so just type in like Lightroom, Lightroom tutorials, and you know, watch things like that. This is just how I do it. Anyway, I am now gonna go pack my bag for the Maldives because this is probably gonna take me a few hours in honesty, so I need to kind of get on, get on with it. T tomorrow will be amazing. I'm so excited for this trip with Benefit. It's for their huge launch. They're doing this launch, and it's called. Hashtag out of this world. No idea yet what they're launching. Um, let's speculate together. I think it potentially might be a highlighter with it being out of this world. But it's got to be something massive because this is a massive, massive trip for about 100 different creators around the globe. Everyone is going somewhere. It's huge and I'm so thrilled to be a part of it. I can't believe it. So really, really excited about it actually. You'll see all of that in the next vlog. We'll be flying tomorrow morning. It's going to be a full day jobby getting there. It's going to be a bit horrific. And then <laughs> finally get there into paradise. Hopefully the weather's good. Thank you for listening, guys. And I'll see you soon. Bye.